Hey folks, your OS Reviews, you're watching our video first look and unboxing of the Ficom Passion 660. Whereas the Clue M represented the lower end of the manufacturer's current lineup, the Passion 660 is the company's flagship model. It sells for under $250 unlocked and features relatively impressive specs that's inclusive of a 5-inch TFT LCD 1080p HD resolution display as well as a 13 megapixel rear camera, 5.0 megapixel front-facing camera, we have a octa-core processor as well, 2 gigs of RAM and 32 gigabytes of built-in flash storage which is also further expandable via a micro SD card slot. There's also support for 4G LTE in addition to two SIM card slots. Uh, one is a micro SIM and the second is a nano SIM that also supports the TF card compatibility. So the box here is a bit more professional than the Clue M, which was again the more budget-oriented cousin. On the back you have access to some other features uh, and also the specs on this particular unit. There's NFC as well. Um, there's also a pedometer or an accelerometer on board. The presentation of the box reminds me of a book. It opens up like so and there is a first page that tells you the various specs and the ports located along the phone. There is the company's logo. You flip this over and there's also a description about the SIM card slot which dubs as the uh, micro SD card slot. And of course we have the phone lying right on top. So pretty cool presentation. So over here we have access to a tool that allows you to remove the SIM cards. This is a unibody phone so you cannot remove the back cover to access the battery which is something that isn't a huge plus although it does make the phone feel a lot more solid and reassuring in the hand. So we'll take a look at the phone in a moment. We have some access to some warranty cards, a quick start guide printed in English as well as German. There's also a setup notice guide and in here we have access to the micro USB cable for charging and syncing. Pretty standard stuff. There's also a AC adapter which is unfortunately the European kind so users in the states will have to purchase their own adapter or get a converter to snap on separately and that's all the contents in the packaging there's no other earphones or anything like that here we have the phone uh, which is very slim and lightweight for something that already has the battery in place we can have access to um, all the various ports that's also labeled out on the screen here so you have access to the headphone port on the very top, a 3.5mm jack. Uh, on the rear here, the aforementioned 13 megapixel autofocus camera with LED flash. Basic info about the phone, there's also a speaker on the rear as opposed to on the front. Uh, on the sides, you have access to a metal band, which makes the phone feel a bit more premium. There is the two SIM card slots slash micro SD card slots, a power on off switch, which is pretty tactile, easy to press, and there's a volume rocker on the other side as well. Front facing camera is also there, including the earpiece, proximity sensors, ambient light sensors. Uh, there's also a dedicated home key and a back key, and these are physical controls as opposed to being virtual and on the display. I'm just going to rip this off, and again, this is the 1080p HD display. Uh, the actual frame here is made out of polycarbonate, so it's a one piece shell that goes from the front all the way to the pack. So it does feel very reassuring and well constructed in the hand. I don't think there's any charge on here. I'm going to give it a brief charge on the wall and then come back and show you guys how this thing will set up. And Quick size for comparison. comparison first, this is the Galaxy S3, which has a 4.8 inch display. You can see the uh, size difference here. The S3 is a little bit smaller in terms of the height, but it's about, about the same in terms of the thickness and overall dimensions and ergonomics in the hand. The Oppo Find 7 has a 5.5 inch display, so it's a bit larger, uh, roughly the same thickness as well, but you can see the size difference there. The phone has now been powered on. We have access to the time and date information over here, also the battery indication on the top right hand corner. We also don't have a SIM card inserted right away, but we can slide up to unlock it. What's interesting here is there is no other set of guides that we need to complete, and it seems like we can directly use the phone right away. So for example, we don't need to set up Wi-Fi and our uh, Google accounts before actually using the handset, so we can do that later on, kind of interesting. Of course, we're going to test this particular handset for its benchmarks, its performance, and how it stacks up against the competition, but for now, this has been our video first look and unboxing of the Ficom Passion 660 Android smartphone. It seems to be pretty snappy and responsive upon a first impressions perspective. Thanks for watching this video here at OS Reviews.